Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us firstly discuss about development of somatic hybrids and cybrids. So firstly, let us discuss about somatic hybrids. So normally, uh, the development of a hybrid plants through the fusion of somatic protoplasts of two different plant species or varieties is called a somatic hybridization. So to understand about the somatic hybrids, how the somatic hybrids will be formed, firstly you have to know what is maybe protoplasts. So I have underlined this protoplast, I have highlighted this because firstly you have to know how this protoplast will be isolated and what is meant by this protoplast actually. So protoplasts are the cells which doesn't consist of any cell wall. So we know that normally for any type of cells, whether it may be plant cell or animal cell, there will be a pr presence of the cell wall around that cell, right? So uh, in this protoplast, there will be no cell wall. Why the cell wall will not be present? Because we are making that cell wall to get removed from that protoplast. So how it will get removed? Let us see now. So we have to take a leaf. Normally we have to select a mother plant. We know that in the plant tissue culture technique I have said you before itself, firstly you have to take a normal mother plant where that mother plant should be properly matured I mean which consists of the leaves I mean shoot system as well as the root system should be properly developed so in that way you have to select a mother plant and you have to take a leaf and now you have to surface sterilize that leaf what is meant by this surface sterilize surface sterilization actually so this process this is a process in which it mainly helps in the removal of the bacteria which is present on the surface of the leaf so uh, we know that the surface sterilization is nothing but uh, we have to take a beaker or else any type of a jar and in that you have to add the sodium hypochlorite solution and enough what you have to do is that you have to dip this explant and now when you dip this explant this sodium hypochlorite solution has a capacity to kill the bacteria which is present on that explant that's nothing but on the leaf okay so now what you have to do we have to remove that leaf and we have to wash it properly and in that way the total bacteria which is present on that surface of the leaf will get removed so that process is called a surface sterilization which i have said you and there is deep explanation on the surface sterilization in the plant tissue culture technique video the link will be given in the description box so if you watch that video then you can understand this total surface sterilization process so next uh, here the leaf uh, has been extracted which is free from bacteria so we know that the leaf consists of epidermal cells like this right and you can observe this epidermal cells with the help of a microscope and now what you have to do is that you have to isolate each of the epidermal cells we have to peel with the help of a peeler you have to peel each of the epidermal cell so what you what what will you do after peeling of this epidermal cells basically so now you are going to take a test tube and within the test tube you are taking you are taking a solution make sure that solution consists of enzymes like you know cellulase as well as the pectinase so what is the main function of this cellulase and pectinase it mainly helps in the cleaving the uh, cell wall from that cell so now here the protoplast sorry the you know this epidermal cells has been isolated right and now you have to add your else you have to keep these epidermal cells in the solution once you add this epidermal cells in the solution then what happens make sure the solution also consists of this enzymes called cellulose as well as the pectinase right so now when you add these epidermal cells into the solution which consists of both these enzymes then what will happen so here if you see this is the normal epidermal cell which consists of the cell wall so now here cellulose as well as this pectinase plays a major role in cleaving this uh, what we say the cell wall once the cell wall will get cleaved then only the protoplast will be remain over so the cell wall will get removed you know uh, in this way the lysis of the cell wall occur with the help of an enzyme called cellulose as well as this pectinase make sure that the solution consists of the cellulose as well as the pectinase enzyme so how we can observe it so uh, after this after this breaking of this you know cell wall by these enzymes then immediately there will be a formation of a layer at the bottom of the test tube which is called as cell debris cell debris is nothing but all the cell wall which has been removed which has been protruded will be settled at the bottom of the test tube and remaining protoplast only the remaining part is called as a protoplast will be settled at the uh, you know upper layer of the cell debris like this which i have drawn right so now you have to isolate this protoplast and then these are called as protoplasts. So I have said you the definition of the protoplast. What I have said you the cells which doesn't consist of any cell walls are called as protoplasts. So here there will be no cell walls because the cell wall has been already removed by this uh, by this action of these enzymes, right? So there will be no cell wall, and these are called as protoplasts. So now what this protoplast do basically for the formation of somatic hybrid? Let us see the development of hybrid plants through the fusion of somatic protoplasts. So these are the somatic protoplasts which I have isolated now. So this somatic protoplast undergoes hybridization technique to form a hybrid and that hybrid which will be formed is called as a somatic hybrid basically and the somatic hybrid is mainly used for the formation of a hybrid plant. So how the somatic hybrids will be formed actually let us see now. So now let us discuss about formation of a somatic hybrid. So in the definition itself I have said you that 
the protoplast will be taken from the two different plant species or two different plant varieties right so here i am going to take two plants plant a as well as the plant b right so this is a plant a protoplast and this will be your plant b protoplast so i have said you that how to isolate the protoplast right in the same way in the same procedure you are going to isolate the protoplast from the plant a and that protoplast is called as parent a protoplast and now this parent a protoplast consists of nucleus and it also consists of the cytoplasm and make sure this nucleus which is present is completely active in form it is totally matured but if you see in the case of this parent b protoplast this consists of the cytoplasm it's okay but the nucleus is absent or else it is inactive in form or else it is immature in form okay so that will be the major difference of parent a protoplast as well as the parent b protoplast and now what you have to do now you are going to fuse this both the per protoplast parent a protoplast as well as this parent b protoplast you are going to fuse it now and now once the fusing going on then firstly the cell membrane fusion occurs cell membrane fusion is nothing but the membrane this is a cell membrane right of the protoplast and now the cell membrane fusion occurs and now after the cell membrane fusion then it leads to the formation of a heterocaryon heterocaryon is nothing but both the active nucleus as well as the inactive nucleus will be present in its cytoplasm and of course the cytoplasm will be present because uh, parent a as well as the parent b both of these consists of the cytoplasm so it receives the cytoplasm from both the parents and even it also receives active nucleus as well as the inactive nucleus from the both the parents in that way the complete fusion occurs in such a way that there will be a formation of a single uh, you know single nucleus but the single nucleus exhibit two type, two properties i mean the parent a property will be exhibited and the parent b property will also be exhibited so what is the parent a property i mean it consists of the whole proper developed nucleus i mean this shaded, shaded region is nothing but the developed nucleus active nucleus and this unshaded region is going to be as inactive nucleus which has been obtained from the parent b that's what i have written here the somatic hybrid contains nucleus of both parent a as well as this parent b right that's what i have drawn here so this hybrid which has been formed is called as a somatic hybrid right so now the formation of the somatic hybrid will be of two kinds they are symmetric hybrid as well as this asymmetric hybrid what is meant by the symmetric hybrid the total procedure which i have explained to you is the symmetric hybrid in such a way that the hybrid which will be formed will be re will receive this nucleus from parent a as well as the parent b that's nothing but the shaded region is nothing but the parent a which is active nucleus and the unshaded region is called as a parent b nucleus which is inactive in form and this is called as a symmetric hybrid what is asymmetric hybrid in this asymmetric hybrid normally the nucleus which will be obtained will be only from one parent but it doesn't obtain nucleus from the another parent either it may obtain nucleus from the parent b or else parent a and this asymmetric hybrid is also called as a cybrid right so now let us discuss about what is meant by this cybrid actually so now let us discuss about the formation of the cybrids so what is meant by cybridization the process of protoplast fusion which are resulting in the development of cybrids is called as cybridization so actually what are cybrids the plant cells which consists of nucleus of one species but cytoplasm from both the species by fusion are called as cybrids so firstly i'm going to explain to you this formation of the cybrids in the diagrammatic form so that you can understand the definition so again we are going to go through the definition after the completion of this explanation so here same in the case of the somatic hybrid what we have done we are going to select two different plants right here also we are going to select two different plants plant a as well as this plant b so we are going to uh, you know extract this protoplast from the plant a hence it is called as a parent a protoplast and here also we are going to isolate the protoplast from the plant b and hence it is also called as a parent b protoplast and now what you are going to do you are going to fusion it you are going to fuse it that's nothing but it undergoes the process of the fusion and once it undergoes the process of the fusion the first step of the fusion is nothing but the cell membrane fusion which i have said you in the case of the formation of the somatic hybrid also so now after the cell cell membrane fusion then what happens it leads to the formation of a heterocaryon up to here the process is same in the formation of somatic hybrid and also in the for process of the somatic uh, cybrid also but the major difference in the formation of cybrid as well as the somatic hybrid is that the nuclear fusion doesn't occur in the formation of a cybrid but in the case of somatic hybrid the nuclear fusion occurs as the nuclear fusion occurs then only it leads to the formation of a somatic hybrid as here the nuclear fusion doesn't occur it leads to the formation of a somatic cybrid so actually what is the main difference between the somatic hybrid and somatic cybrid in the somatic cybrid which has been formed it will gain its characteristic from only one parent 
so here this is a true nucleus so actually this is a true nucleus which i have shaded is called as a true nucleus and this is a false nucleus or else you can also call it as an active nucleus and this is the inactive nucleus so here the hybrid will be formed it will this hybrid will be formed by obtaining its characteristic from only one parent so here which parent the characteristic has been obtained from the parent a i have drawn only the parent b even the parent b protoplast characteristic will also be obtained but in a different cell so these are the two different cells right in the case of somatic hybrid only in the one cell both the characteristic will be obtained but in the case of somatic hybrid in two different cells two different characteristics will be obtained in this case the parent a protoplast characteristic has been obtained in this hybrid in this case of hybrid the parent b protoplast characteristic has been obtained but in the case of somatic hybrid the both of this characteristic will be obtained in a single cell so that's the main difference between this somatic hybrid as well as a somatic hybrid right and make sure that the cytoplasm will also be obtained from the both the parents because the both the parents consist of the cytoplasm so now let us see the definition now you can now we will understand the definition properly see the plant cells which are obtained will consist of nucleus of one species nucleus of only one species either it may be parent a or else either it may be parent b only one species but the cytoplasm from both the species because both the species consist of the cytoplasm by the fusion process exactly that's the, that's only the reason here the hybrid will be formed by the fusion process so is called as are called as hybrids you know plural is a hybrids singular is a hybrid we all of us know that so hope you would understand the formation of a somatic hybrid as well as a somatic hybrids so in this way the fusion will be occur and how the protoplast will be also obtained i'm going to say i said you enough just enough so the notes of this topic will be given in the whatsapp group and the invite link to join that whatsapp group will be given in the description box so go through that description box and join us in the whatsapp group and you can ask notes there i'm going to provide you the notes and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box or else you can also ask me in that whatsapp group i am going to give you a immediate reply so if you like this video just do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box thank you